It's the story warming hearts across America. Eric Schmidt Matson has been a professional Santa for six years. He sure looks the part with his holly jolly snow white hair and beard. Even his wife dresses as Mrs. Claus. But nothing prepared him for the drama he encountered at a hospital in eastern Tennessee when he bid goodbye to a terminally ill five-year-old boy in his dying moments. When you get up those pearly gates, you just tell him you're Santa's number one elf. You're like, I am? He dissolves into tears as he recounts how he fulfilled a child's dying wish to see Santa Claus. I had a hold of him and he just kind of looked up at me and he says, Santa, can you help me? And that's when he passed. Now it seems as if the entire country is touched by his story. The story is just heartbreaking because being Santa is supposed to be an easy, fun job, but one Santa faced the hardest of life's moments. Santa granted a dying child his last wish. I'm sorry for being emotional. I just, I just can't tell that story without being affected. Eric refuses to reveal the name of the boy or the hospital where the youngster sorry, died, sir. and that has some people wondering. I hate to be a Grinch, but people are going to be asking the question, is the story absolutely truthful? I'm not going to identify where it happened, exactly when, uh, what hospital and all that kind of stuff. I am protecting everything I can, those people's identity. Kind of reminds you of this classic movie scene from the Miracle on 34th Street. Well, young lady, what's your name? Susan Walker, what's yours? Mine, Chris Kringle. I'm Santa Claus. The final word goes to Santa. Well, I think we're losing track of what the story's about. You know, it's, it's the, uh, the love of a boy and, and uh, his concern about Mrs. Christmas, you know, and that's all there is to it.